Not long to go before Virgin River returns to our screens with its fourth season. While it's been a year since the season 3 finale left us with some major questions, fans are itching to find out what Mel and Jack are going to do about their situation. In today's video, let's take a look at all the clues we've gathered about the future of their relationship for the new exclusive photos released ahead of the season 4 premiere. First up, a new photo revealed Mel and Jack's potential breakup. Virgin River fans prepared to be as worried as Jack was when Mel told him that the baby might not be his. An exclusive new batch of photos from the Netflix drama's fourth season offered fans a first look at some of the small town's biggest upcoming events, both festive and suspicious. In the season 3 finale, Mel interrupted Jack's proposal to share pregnancy news of her own. The former Marine was thrown in for a loop when she also explained her concerns about the baby's paternity. Now, Alexandra Breckenridge, who plays our leading lady, has shared that the couple is in for a bit of a tough road ahead. She explained that if the baby isn't Jack's, the lovebirds are naturally going to have some tough times ahead and that things would get extremely challenging, especially for Jack. Still, if he decides to stick around and devote himself to Mel, it's going to be hard to have a baby that's not his, and that's just asking a lot. Even though Virgin River has been off the air for about a year, Netflix hasn't left fans completely in the dark, teasing that while the couple is wrestling with uncertainty, Mel's choosing to be grateful for finally getting to become a mother. But with a handsome new doctor Cameron Hayek arriving in town, things might get a bit more complicated. In the newly released photo, Cameron and Mel can be seen sharing a smile and in-depth conversation, which could hint a trouble between Jack and Mel. The character description for Cameron describes him as a dashing new physician armed with eye-catching good looks, a razor-sharp intellect, and a smile that could light up the world. It seems like Cameron could make an immediate splash in town, especially with the ladies. So can Jack actually be the baby's father? Hold up, we know what you're thinking. The idea is crazy, and it's already been established that the baby isn't Jack's. But hear us out. TV show writers have been using this ploy to trick fans for years. It's a tale as old as time. What if Jack is, in fact, the father? At the end of season 3, Mel told Jack about her pregnancy and broke the news that he might not be the father. It wasn't only Jack who was disappointed. Even the fans gasped at that very scene. Who's the real father? of this baby, a recent fan theory that might lead us to a conclusion. There's a very slim chance that Mark may be the father, but the timings aren't really letting us believe this is the case. A Reddit user pointed out something most of us had missed. Mel went to LA for a few days only, and those days weren't enough for a woman like her to undergo it all and then recovering from it before returning to the Virgin River. This gives us a pretty solid reason to believe that the baby might be Jack's, but then again, we can only hope for now. We'll have to find out for ourselves on July 20th. Next, we'll finally learn who shot Jack. At the end of season 2, Jack was shot and left for dead at his bar. Then in the season 3 finale, we remember that Brady was officially arrested, but it's never that simple, and a bunch of very believable fan theories suggests that was a setup. Season 3 came and went without resolving one of its oldest cliffhangers. Luckily, we'll learn the truth in season 4. A bunch of very believable fan theories suggest that that was a setup and that the culprit is someone closer to Jack, like his very own sister. Yes, we know, poor innocent Brie. How could she pull off such a stunt? But that alone doesn't absolve her. We know for a fact that she gets startled very easily, which makes her more accident prone. And so far, no one's asked her for her alibi on the night of the shooting. We still don't know what she was up to. Other than that, if you remember, she's the only person who had access to Brady's car. She could have easily planted the gun there and let Brady take the fall for it all. Might sound a little far-fetched, but get this, the fan theories might be right. In one of her interviews, Tenny shared that revealing Jack's shooter is going to be a complex plotline. Apparently, we'll get to the bottom of it by the season finale. Virgin River showrunner Sue Tenny told TV Insider that the audience will be generally surprised at who's behind all of it. She added that if they actually get the reveal in season 4, it would detail more of how this all was intertwined. The webbing of that story goes all the way back to the first season. So it's a connecting plot line through all four seasons. We can't wait to find out. And now, in other related news, Doc's backstory will be explored. Virgin River hasn't really explored Doc's past in the previous seasons, other than his medical background, of course. But that's clearly about to change soon. Even before the show was greenlit for season four, showrunner Sue Tenney revealed that all questions about his past life will be answered in the upcoming season. If you remember, they already set up the story 
stage for a potentially explosive reveal for Doc Mullins in the finale. When the mysterious young man claimed to be his grandson to the town's bed and breakfast owner, Joe Allen, apparently there's a secret he's carrying around, and season 4 is when it'll finally come out. We bet it'll be worth the wait. Next, we have the Virgin River season 4 cast. It wouldn't be Virgin River if Alexandra Breckenridge and Martin Henderson didn't return as midwife Mel Monroe and bar owner Jack Sheridan. So, of course, we'd expect to see them in the fourth season. Meanwhile, we can also expect Tim Matheson as Doc Mullins, Colin Lawrence, who plays Preacher, Lauren Hammersley as Charmaine Roberts, and Benjamin Hollingsworth, who portrays Dan Brady, to reprise their roles in the upcoming season. Annette O'Toole, who plays Hope, was noticeably less present in the previous season with the character visiting an elderly relative in another state, getting stuck there due to a hurricane and only appearing via Zoom. Netflix has even released first look pics of the season, showing Doc and Hope reunited once again. Marco Grazzini is also bound to return because we still don't know whether he's the father of Charmaine's babies or not. Not just that, Colin Lawrence will also have to return because Preacher has yet to reunite with Paige and Christopher. Zibby Allen, Grayson Maxwell Guernsey, Sarah Dugdale, and Terry Rothery will also most probably reprise their roles for the upcoming season. With all this, we won't be able to see Lily portrayed by Linda Boyd again because season 3 concluded with her death. However, it's still possible that we'll get to see her in flashbacks or maybe in dreams? You never know. We've our doubts about Christopher's reappearance in this season as well because we still have no idea whether he's alive or dead. Even if he's dead, he should appear in a scene or two, maybe as a dead body. As for new characters, Reigns Marganime has joined the cast as the town's brand new Dr. Cameron Hayek, who's expected to complicate the romantic situation for pregnant Mel. Meanwhile, the Motherland Fort Salem star Kai Bradbury, who was introduced as Doc's long-lost grandson Danny Cutler, is set to become a series regular. And finally, the Virgin River season 4 release date. Virgin River is finally hitting on Netflix on Wednesday, the 20th of July. The new series will consist of 12-hour long episodes, set to arrive all at once. Netflix confirmed they'd commissioned the romantic drama for a fourth series back in May, giving fans a first look at the upcoming episodes. Filming took place last year with Marion Henderson, who plays Jack on the show, revealing on Instagram that he was doing a little post-production work on season 4 back in November 2021. Meanwhile, the show has also been renewed for a fifth season. That being said, it doesn't seem as though we'll be seeing season 5 for quite a while, with Alexander Breckenridge telling Glamour that production has been pushed to July due to scheduling conflicts with her other hit drama, This Is Us. She explained that the showrunners on This Is Us had been trying to get her to come back since she signed up to be on Virgin River. And then, when they were supposed to start shooting season 5 of Virgin River in March, it got pushed back to July. We're still waiting to find out what this delay could mean for the release of season 5. So just in case you haven't watched Virgin River, open Netflix right now and do some major binge watching before season 4 hits the streaming app. And that's a wrap for this video. What do you think about Mel and Jack's breakup? And what are you expecting from the newest season? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.